Today I want to talk to you a little bit about a dog called Sammy. I like to talk obviously about the dogs that have the brilliant success stories where everything turns out great, but not always is that the case. So who's Sammy? Sammy was a Collie Cross and in my very early days working in rescue, um, he was a dog that had come into the rescue centre that I was working at. He wasn't coping very well at all. He'd come from another pound, so we had no history at all about who Sammy was, where he'd come from, had he lived in a home, who was he with. We had absolutely no history at all that came with Sammy. But it was very clear that he wasn't coping in the kennel environment and I'd offered to take him home. This wasn't unusual. I fostered quite a lot of dogs whenever I was working in that rescue and since then for other rescues as well I've taken dogs home and worked with them to help them get into a better place where they can find their proper home. So Sammy came home with me and it was very very clear that the kennel environment was really not the problem. Poor Sammy was not coping at home either. Um, he'd bonded with me, I got on really well with him and he actually really liked my dogs as well but my home was really busy home so I had a young son at the time, um, I had cats, I had a husband, there was lots of other things happening in that home. Plus, of course, I was working and my husband was working. So it, for him, it was actually quite a stimulating environment and he didn't do great in it. Um, but I was determined, I was a new behaviourist and um, I wasn't going to let this dog get by me. So I wanted to give it my absolute best effort. And actually, this is probably where things went wrong because what I should have done was handed him back to the rescue that I was working at and said that this dog needs a different home to the one that I can offer. But I was young and um, inexperienced. So I decided that I was gonna persevere with him and I did everything I could to help him. Um, I took him out places, I tried to socialize him hard. There was lots of positivity, loads of treats. We went places, you know, I wanted him to get used to new things. I wanted him to get used to my son. I wanted to get used to my home. I wanted him to get used to people being near him. He seemed to have a very, very big dislike for certain looks of people. He didn't like um, weirdly women with blonde hair, um, although me and him were fine. But other women with blonde hair, he did not like at all. And he would only have to spot one, even at quite a distance, before he would become quite um, unmanageable um, and he was being really quite aggressive you couldn't have let him get anywhere near anybody you know for fear that he would have bitten them um, and um, I genuinely think that he would have you know he was a very very stressed out boy but I did my best I took him everywhere I could think of um, and I absolutely tried to socialize and I tried to get him integrated into my home as long as I could but eventually I had to just to accept defeat I had to accept that this was not the right home for him and absolutely that was a mortifying day for me because that was the day I felt like I'd really failed um, I'd failed Sammy I'd failed at my job I'd failed at rescue I'd failed in all other ways I failed as a mother because you know my poor son and I'd failed as a wife because my husband was getting victimized by this dog as well they couldn't move around the home you know peacefully and quietly um, and, and, you know, as they were used to doing, everybody was on edge the whole time. Um, so this was a really a terrible day for me, the day I took Sammy back to rescue. Um, now, what I learned from this was actually I shouldn't have kept Sammy as long as I had. My home was not a reflection of my abilities as a behaviourist. Um, but I'd become so determined to, to help this dog and to not let him down that actually what I was doing was a great disservice to him. There were places that were better suited to him where he could have thrived and he could have really done, you know, as well as he could. So the fault was mine for keeping him as long as I did. Um, that stressful environment was not great for him. It wasn't an environment that he was able to learn in either. So actually all the effort I was putting into teaching him about how to respond to different sort of stimulus, different noises, different environments, cars, people, all that kind of stuff, was all wasted because he was just too stressed to really take any of it in. Um, what I should have done was I should have um, given him a safe and quiet place to call his own for a good three or four days, somewhere he could decompress, somewhere he could unwind, somewhere he could learn that he was safe. I didn't do that. 
I brought him into the house and immediately I wanted to start with all of this work. I wanted to be the one that saved him. I wanted to socialize him. I wanted him to be the one, you know, he wanted him to turn around while I was training him. I wanted to be his hero, I guess. Um, but actually that was the complete opposite of what he needed. He needed me to leave him alone. He needed everybody to leave him alone. Um, he'd got on well with my dogs and he could have spent more time with them while he learned that where he was was safe that he didn't have to worry that we were going to hurt him um we knew that of course but he didn't know that and he needed the time that it would have taken for him just to kind of relax and figure that out for himself so i didn't give him enough time at the early stages to really settle into the house i just went 100 miles an hour and tried to teach him everything of course even if i had given him that time um coming in and trying to work on all of those things at the same time also a big mistake um something that lots of people do and obviously i was um the worst for it at that time is trying to rush everything when you've got a dog that needs to be socialized with so many things the, the list was endless it was included sounds moving things different kinds of animals different types of people all different things everything in sammy's environment scared him but you shouldn't try to manage all of that at the same time you need to pick your battles and you need to start with the simplest ones obviously you want the dog to succeed you want them to realize actually that when they're with you that they can be brave and they can learn to to accept things into their world that they previously were afraid of so there's no point in starting with the thing they're scared of most because that's quite a long journey and that's an awful lot of work to do start with something simple that they're not too bad with maybe just a weird sound on the tv you know he can cope with that as long as he's not too close and it's not too loud work on that first that's not what i did i worked on everything all at the same time i had lists and charts and tick boxes um and that was a really big mistake so with sammy what he needed was just baby steps and each baby step would have led to another baby step and rather than rushing everything at the start we probably actually would have solved all of these problems much faster if we'd have actually just taken them one at a time so slow down to get fast i guess for sammy um so i did too much um i was really just in such a hurry to try and help him that um my helping actually didn't help at all if i could go back again i would have done it differently in fact if i could go back again i wouldn't have taken him home at all um and i would have found another place for him where he could have done all those things which is actually how the story ends because when sammy went back to the rescue that i was working at we did find him another rescue that was able to provide exactly the environment that he needed and um, he thrived there and actually that person that fostered him ended up being a failed fosterer for a better reason because she ended up keeping him and they had a great life together the pair of them so it did end up with a really happy story but I really wanted to talk about Sammy because it doesn't always work sometimes your home is not the right home for a dog that you're fostering or that you've rescued and Admitting that somebody else can give your dog a better home when in those situations is um, a huge step. I didn't take it then and I have taken it since. You don't have to save everybody. Somebody else might be able to provide the exact perfect environment for the dog and they would thrive there. Um, I know that lots of people do question sometimes when they've rescued a dog, whether they did the right thing, whether they're the right home for the dog. And um, you don't have to be a hero. Sometimes it's okay to say this is not right for me and it's not right for them. So that was Sammy's story and it had a happy ending, of course. But I didn't give him the happy ending that I thought I was going to give him. Um, so nice to talk to you again today. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.